And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty DLC and I finally received the call from Reed, so let's jump into it. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. All clear to talk? My surgery. Lining things up for me? Not quite. Not yet. The process is complicated. But my finger's on the pulse. I'm on my way out of Night City. I'd like to meet up, face to face. True to station out South Caliway. Reed? Okay. Nick of time. Minutes on, you'd have found my tracks. That's it. In a hurry to get out of Dodge? Should have warned me. We might have just missed each other. Maybe I was hoping for that. I'm needed in D.C., or so I'm told. Long-ass way to drive, June. Well, trains just rub me wrong. Besides which, I need time to think things through. Lots of things, lots of time. Open road for the quintessential introvert. Solve some problems on your own. Not all of them. I did call you. Drag you out here. Okay, Reed, what's on your mind? What you need from me? I can't sleep. Trying to break things down. Keep asking myself. And... I don't know, but maybe you do. Show me. Up there in Space Force One. She raised you on the hollow, not me. Why? Song didn't trust you. Knew you'd prove Myers' is loyal hound in the end. Was ordered to hunt her, but I helped her instead. Want proof of loyalty? No better proof than that. 
banished from her life for seven years. Left her to her own devices. Contact would have been unwise, so impossible. I played the role I had to. Song knew the truth, though. Knew full well you were no traitor. Well, as I saw it, I was protecting her. Might well have botched some choices you faced in life. Not my place to judge. One thing's sure, though. Consequences of your mistakes. Gotta learn to live with them. Hmm. Time for me to fly. And honesty much appreciated, V. You deserved it, Saul. Wait contact. I'll ring you when the surgeons are ready. Poor fucking bastard. Feel sorry for him? You? Well, maybe. Guy's bankrupt. All out of hope. Gonna hang himself. You'll see. Had seven years to do that and didn't. He's got a chance to turn his life around now. Chum lost everything, literally. Just hasn't realized it yet. His president proved herself a war criminal. His friend flipped him a fucking club sized bird. His ideals bought him of a cesspit, choke it on shit. He'll hang himself. Our neurosurgeons have devised the right neural matrix command. You ready to kick that construct to the curb? Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. An FIA AV can pick you up, stat. I just need a meeting point. Preferably secluded. Place called Misty's Esoterica. Roof of the building. Right. We'll be standing by.
Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to Reed. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? Shit was clear as the summer sky already. You think they'd suck you out of one head, drop you in another? Well, thought I'd get packed and shelled. And in the best of all possible worlds, that you'd help me hop on the net. Not that they'd excise me like some fucking tumor. Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. <laughs> Choice is clear, Johnny. Raisin Reed on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Actually, eager to be clinic down. Maybe he's on his way. It won't be long now. So this is how it ends. We're gonna argue about this again. Can we please not? Got my pride, V. Not about to beg for my life. James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the woman who rescued the president of the NUSA. Great. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up. On assignment. Not to worry. You're in good hands. Come on inside. Doc Lozano will evaluate Kinda your condition. nervous. Condi Not gonna lie. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm, I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. I want to bid the city goodbye. Mind opening the door? Don't worry. You'll be back here in no time. Can never be too sure. Just open it. You shook my hand, Weiss. 
Indulge me? Human meat grinders. Survived it once. Do well to remember that. If you ever toss back in again. Think I'll want to remember anything you said? That's adorable. What you want's got nothing to do with it. Your conscience will catch up. And what exactly should I feel guilty about again? V, you crapped out. Congrats. Can feel proud of what you've become. What the hell you want from me, Johnny? Acknowledgement, decency, a sprinkling of regret, and an apology. What an apology for me choosing to save my own life? No, V. An apology for fucking ending mine. Spent your whole life living on a whim, looking out for your ass and your ass alone. Got no right to lecture me, Silverhand. You want me to act like this? Us? Was just a big nothing burger. And we'll just drift off into sweet slumber. Except only one of us is waking up. You deserve it. Going out like this. How the fuck so? Enlighten me. For starters, you're a narcissist and a sociopath. Only way you can live with yourself is by believing you never do anything wrong, pinning the blame for your mistakes on others. Know the worst part, though? Nah, but guessing you do. Actually, could have been the. Fuck the system, gung-ho rebel king you so like to think you were. But you self-destructed. See, I didn't kill you. Nor did Arasaka. Your sheer fucking arrogance did, Johnny. Always were you a worst enemy. You, your hubris. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Do this. We want your brain burden free. Never know how stress might affect it. You done? That sums it up. Yeah. Said my piece. Made mistakes. I admit it. We all do. But if you think I wanted to be a hero, then you don't know jack shit about me. She sees me now. 
said that? When? Wise. In the AV. You weren't there. Right. That. Wasn't any reason for me to be there then. Now? Yeah. I felt I owed you this. Pretty nice welcome. Just missing flowers and I get wild card. Given I'm here, guess things worked out all right, huh? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. You're in a big ass butt in there. Cause there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. Just cut the anger out safely. That it. A good ripper will patch it quick and easy. Not this time. Your neurons can no longer handle most implants. Chrome. Your brain can manage your personal link and simple code processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V. But the life you used to know is gone. There's, uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. Fuck. My whole life. Down the shitter. It's rough, I know. It'll take, uh, it'll take getting used to. But it gets better. Trust me. Two years and zap nerves. That all your best docs can manage. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. Need some hair. Barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Need to get out of here and see you. When can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Cream, where's my stuff? B, listen to me. Your body... It ain't going back to what it was. And Nancy's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Why the hell you care? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Dunno, someday maybe. Need to think. But now. Going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death just to waste away here. Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. 
Read this story. We do the right thing. Could we have done better? I don't know, V. And I won't try answering. Just plain afraid. So, this netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, cure using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. A two-year coma, for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. <laughs> yep. I mean... They saved me, new lease on life, but Chrome's a no-go for me now, even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot. Yeah, in a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. How can I help you? Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. Did you happen to hear my question? I asked if you find the liquor I procured for your friend suitable. Yep, perfect. Exactly the one I had in mind. I love it. Uh, Sorry. Zoned out for a sec. That's quite all right. Night City can indeed overwhelm the occasional newcomer. Might I ask how you feel? Like an outcast. Feels like just yesterday I was part and parcel of this town. Now I'm a goddamn tourist. My deepest apologies. We've only met once before. Hence my hasty conclusion that you're not a native. Indeed, Night City has since changed quite significantly. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The most significant is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you could be interested in hearing the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down as CEO. True? Or big fat baloney? 
Well, Stan, we're talking about a man who once went into voluntary familial exile to join a nomad clan in direct conflict with his own father's agents. The idea that someone like him would remove themselves from the picture is just not plausible. So you're suggesting he had help, but then to what end? I think it's simple. Yorinobu deliberately tried to destroy Arasaka. His biography attests to that. Eventually, the board woke up and proceeded to excise this saboteur within. Oh, fascinating theory. One all you listeners can read all about in Masao Adams' latest book, The Prodigal Phoenix. Arasaka's on the back foot, huh? It appears so. Other corporations have wasted no time in attempting to fill the void. Well, Johnny, you got your wish. Arasaka's on the way out. Except it's like playing Wacka Corp. Hit one, three others pop up. Uh, are you talking to me? No, to myself. It doesn't matter. Thank you for choosing this Delamain service. Going? I shall await. One last thing, if I may. We all eventually run out of fuel, but that hardly means the journey wasn't pleasant. Hey, girl, hold up. Ah, oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network right. Clinic. How may I help you? Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Vic. So good to see you, old Ripper. V. How long's it been? Depends on your point of view. <laughs> You're making a habit of this, rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Come on. You're gonna make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. But hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone versus Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Damn. Feels like another life. Yeah. Good times. Things changed. No denying it. Jackie's gone. So's Misty Shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. Okay. Let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me. 
What's it like to be back among the living? I lost, Vic. Lost in life. All my plans, dreams. You survived. Can't function in my environment, so what's it matter? Me from two years back? Gone. Never gonna be her again. You know what I mean. What are you trying to say, exactly? The Zeta Tech thing. How'd you wind up caught in their web? There was pressure, some threats even. Uh, resisting change seemed... senseless. Why? Did you decide you were incapable? There came a day I realized my losses could be higher if I put my foot down. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. And that's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. And no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. <laughs> Funny. I was terrified I'd die for so long. I don't see what's funny about that. Point is, I should have feared the passing of all the things I knew. Can't imagine how Johnny felt. <laughs> Waking up after 50 years. You get old enough, you start coming to terms with things. Keeps you from drowning in your sentiments. Vic, sensible as ever, and with achievable dreams. I never could settle on those. You'll learn. If you say so. Well, your core looks fine. Good even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that it. Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. Life-threatening kind. Said you could do something, Vic. I... I was wrong. I'm sorry. See, Vic? Told you. No going back. I'm limited. Fuck. You're a corpo ripper. You make it sound like you've got nothing to look forward to. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt, too. Still doing what I most love, though. Just two years. You may not see it. Time's passed differently for me, so... I do see it. You're plain unhappy. Pretending to be your former self. <clears throat> you really think so? Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Got a patient, Vic. Don't worry about me. Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course, I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here.
Well, well. See that, Jimmy? She a corpo rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Drop it. Leave me alone. Hmm. Uh... Nope. Show me the money. Now taste my fist, cunt! Fuck! That's enough! Got what we wanted! Let her be! See? But you... What happened to you? <clears throat> Misty? Easy now. Are you in one piece? I'm fine. Mostly. Just a bit busted up, is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. No, Misty. It wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good. Not anymore. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Missed you so much, Misty. Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass, too. As all things. Not quite that simple, Misty. Everything's changed. Fucking everything. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. Met <laughs> your bread and butter. Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but... I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Man. Of all people. Never thought I'd see you leaving Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? <laughs> Jackie's passing. I was in a really dark place then. But no, that's not it. My favorable store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. Decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. <sighs> Sorry, Misty. Wish I could help you. I do. You have helped. By staying alive. <laughs> you know what, Misty? Thanks. Likewise, V. To know what comes next, Misty. What to do? Nothing makes sense anymore. That was me yesterday. Had no hope anything good would ever happen to me again. But it did? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. <laughs> you know what? I think you're right. No point in giving up. Maybe... Dunno, I'll be a fixer. A change in your outlook's what you need first. Won't make it otherwise. Faces in the crowd. Their world, V. Remember that. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? Gonna stay in and see. Do what I do best. 
Start over. No idea what's gonna happen, but I refuse to be beat. You really are unbreakable, V. My ride will be here soon. Lock me to it? again, I guess. Hope so. Oh, V. Do you still have that pendant I gave you? I... Uh, must have misplaced it. Don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore. Heard you back in town. Now that counts as endgame. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video for the next playthrough to see what it's like to play Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty without helping. Sombor burn. We'll see how it works out for trying the different dialogue in the upcoming video. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.